so amazing. We're in the finale, Morgan! Oh my god! Yes, we are in the finale, guys. Can you believe it? Oh my god, what a crazy season of talented artists. The 22 season of The Voice is one of the best so far. Comment if you agree. On December 13, Tuesday, The Voice will crown its season 22 champion, after the top 5 deliver their performance on December 12, Monday. While one of the top 5 happens to be the much-loved Morgan Miles, will she win this season? Not to mention, Morgan is the only female left. Girl power. Let's find out if she'll take home the voice title. Morgan Miles is the established one out of every top five finalists. Let's not forget Morgan got a four-chair turn, with judges raving about how she sounded, like she was on a Grammy stage. You sound like you're on a Grammy stage already, it's ridiculous. No doubt. The 36-year-old singer is as brilliant as any singer could be. Already a full-time touring musician, she can take home the $100,000 prize and a record deal. Talking about her fan base, she has received a massive number of fan followers so far. Morgan's Instagram has racked up 105k followers, which will garner her substantial votes. In fact, Morgan is representing her hometown Nashville, so her friends, family, and the whole community have been supporting her. Recently, she was on air with Nashville's multimedia queen, Erin Cooper. While Erin posted Morgan on her Instagram, the comment section was flooded with all the love and support, as seen in the picture. You know what makes people adore Morgan more and more? It's the love she has for everyone. Morgan Miles has been supporting each and every contestant on The Voice. If you check her Instagram walls, you'll definitely find how she's posting pictures and videos of her competitors on the voice of everyone she's grown to love. She's supporting everyone as she has always done. No one could ever represent Nashville better than Morgan. She could win the 22nd season of The Voice. However, various sources claim that Morgan Miles is unlikely to take home The Voice title, and Team Blake has a great chance of winning. Not to mention, The Voice coaches revealed during a press conference that they highly believe Brayden Lape could take it all. On the other hand, John Legend has predicted Omar Jose Cardona to take home the trophy. You're the kind of artist that can win The Voice. You can win this show. We believe it's equally possible for Team Camila's Morgan Miles to be crowned the winner. After all, this top five are incredibly talented. It's anyone's game. But you know what? Morgan Miles already won. She stepped into the voice stage, wanting nothing more than a hefty exposure. The minute she walked onto that stage, Morgan got what she wanted and is still calling. The platform is elevating her profile. All she wants is to attract loyal fans who see her worth. After all, it's a win-win situation for Morgan Miles. Who are you rooting for anyways? Let us know in the comments. Now, here are a few insights on Morgan Miles. This might be pretty surprising for some of us, but let it be known that the soulful artist and Pennsylvania native Morgan Miles is a fighter and a true musician gem. Going through the highs and lows, Morgan has been in Nashville for more than 16 years. She has been through a lot, an intense break with her manager, an agent and strings of shattering personal losses. Talking about the devastating losses, back in 2018, Morgan was caught up in a vast professional challenge. At the same time, she lost her cousin Mac, who died of brain cancer just at the age of 33. Morgan was in so much pain that she didn't know what to do or if she was gonna make music anymore. She felt stuck and controlled. Likewise, she lost her grandfather to the same genetic brain cancer. Max and her grandfather's death had a tremendous effect on Morgan. Earlier in 2012, the singer lost a mother of children who she spent a decade nannying. Morgan and the family were so close that Morgan was named as a guardian for the kids, in case anything happened to their father. While going through these unfortunate events, one of them was her fraudulent contracts which led her to The Voice. Morgan had been working with a booking agent during the pandemic, and she had Morgan on 117 shows. But in the meantime, she was having fraudulent contracts, which were taking deposits from people in venues and making up emails. Morgan thought she would be in many shows like her agent said. 
but that was not the case, as it was all fraudulent contracts. While Morgan was dealing with some rotten eggs in the industry, she got the casting audition email, as she was struggling, she thought she needed exposure, her biggest worry has always been booking shows and people not showing up. So the 35-year-old singer tried her luck in the voice. The singer kept seeing the bigger picture when nothing seemed clear, which helped her fight on, all the hard times she faced continued to add soul, perspective, and depth to her songwriting. After a tempestuous journey, personally and professionally, Morgan released her first album, Therapy. From the album, we'll know that music has remained her therapy throughout her hard times. The singer hopes her music ultimately connects and helps people to heal. Go check out her songs if you haven't already. She also sells merch. Show some love there as well. For more personal details of this gorgeous singer, kindly check our previous video of her on our channel. With that, we've come to the end of this video. Leave a comment for Morgan Miles. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and press the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for tuning in.